Yes, good morning all of you. How all of you are fine there? So children, what we are studying today? You are looking at the topic. See, we have to start the new chapter. Understanding quadrilaterals. And you know about quadrilateral earlier also. You have studied quadrilateral. So now let's study more about quadrilateral in this chapter. So let's start. Are you ready? So let us start with polygons. What is polygon? A simple closed curve made up of only line segments is called a polygon. So see polygon. I am making a triangle. Triangle is a polygon. Having how many sides? Three sides are there. So the figure which is entirely made up of line segments is called polygon. One more. This is a quadrilateral four-sided figure. This is quadrilateral four-sided. And that only we have to study in this chapter about quadrilateral and its types. We are going to understand the full family of quadrilaterals. This is triangle. Then this is hexagon. All these things you have studied in previous classes also children. So this is... What is this? Hexagon. Six-sided figure. So, what is simple closed curve which is made up of only line segment is called polygon. The term polygon is clear to all of you. Now, we will classify all polygons. So, let's classify all polygons. So, which which polygons are there? So, First of all, let us start with the lowest one. The least number of side is 3. The polygon with least number of side is 3. And what we call it? Triangle. And simple figure. So let's make one figure. This is triangle. Then comes number of side 4. And what it is called? Quadrilateral. And simple figure we already drawn now. Then comes number side 5. And it is called pentagon. And figure we can draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then comes 6 number of sides. It is called hexagon. So, how many sides are there? 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 7 sides, heptagon. So, let's draw heptagon also children. 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5, then 6 and then 7. So, heptagon. Then comes 8, octagon. Then let's make octagon also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this is eight, octagon. Similarly, we can make 9 sided figure, 10 sided figure and all these figures we can make easily. 10 sides. So 9 sides, it is called on a gun. 10 sides, decagon, and so and so on we can make. So now comes to n side. So n sided polygon. n side is n sided polygon. So similarly we can make all this. So it is clear to all of you that how we will classify polygons. So children, we are all covering concepts of this chapter before understand, before starting exercise, we, have to, we must know that what, what we have to study before doing exercise. So next is diagonals. A diagonal is a line segment joining or connecting two non-consecutive vertices of polygon. So this is polygon. Any polygon we can make. This is quadrilateral I have made. Now this is four vertices. Now let us join this. This is diagonal. So what is diagonal is a line segment joining two non-consecutive vertices. 
and this is one more diagonal. So there are two diagonals in it A, B, C, D. We let us name it. So what are the diagonals here? A, C is first one and B, D is the second one. So there are two diagonals in this quadrilateral. Similarly, we can make diagonals for pentagon, hexagon and so on. Now comes to next definition, convex and concave polygons. So what is concave and convex? Now let us, uh, let I will make one figure for all of you. See, this is pentagon. I have made. So this is called convex. Why it is called convex? So why you study diagonal children? To know the concept of convex and concave polygon. Why we have studied diagonal? Because diagonal already we have studied in previous class. But now again we have studied because to clear the concept of convex and concave polygon. So, I have drawn one pentagon children. See. Now, let us make diagonals. One, two, then from here, three, then four then 5 and any more no so these are all diagonals see all diagonals lie inside it all diagonals of this pentagon lies inside now see another figure this one what is this 1 2 3 4 5 and what is this this is also a Pentagon. This is also a pentagon. This is also a pentagon. What is the definition of pentagon? Having five-sided figure. Having five-sided polygon is pentagon. So this is also polygon. Pentagon. This is also pentagon. Now one, two, three, four, five, five side. Now here, see if I draw a diagonal, one of the diagonal. What is diagonal? A diagonal is a line segment joining any known two no consecutive vertices. So, I am joining this one of the vertices. I am not joining all inside one. I am joining one of the outside one. So, polygons that are convex have no portion of their diagonals in their exterior. Jo convex polygon hote hain, unke diagonals, where it lies? Kaha hote hain? Under. Or concave mein, all diagonals lie some diagonals may lie outside some diagonals may lie outside and so and some diagonals lie inside also but here in convex all diagonals lie inside in concave some diagonals may lie outside also that's why it is called concave polygon clear children convex and concave polygon so this term is clear to us convex and concave polygon so you can make one convex and one concave by yourself hexagon you can make now comes to the next definition and that is regular and irregular polygons. So what is regular and irregular? A polygon is both equiangular and equilateral C square. I am making one square. So this figure square is all sides having equal. All angles are equal then it is called regular polygon a polygon whose all sides all angles are equal then it's called regular polygon otherwise it is a an irregular polygon only so rectangle let us take example of rectangle in rectangle so all angles are equal to 90 degrees still sides are not equal Sides only opposite sides are equal. All sides are not equal. Then it is irregular polygon. Irregular polygon. So clear the term. Whose all sides and all angles are equal. Then it is regular polygon. And all sides or any angles are not equal. Then irregular polygon. Now children, we know from class 7 that in a triangle, the sum of three angles is 180 degree. From class 7th, we know this, that the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. 
this we know very well now what about quadrilateral our main focus is of quadrilateral so let us prove let us prove that the sum of four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree so angle sum property of quadrilateral let us prove it So let's prove children how to prove it. See, we know that we are we know that the sum of four angles of quadrilateral is 60 degree, but we have to prove it. So let's prove. So I am making one any quadrilateral. Name it A B C D. Join any one diagram, any one. You can join AC or you can join BD. Any one you have to join it. So, how many triangles you are looking? One and two. Give the names. One, two, three, four, five, and six. See, we have given the names also. Now, so let's start. Proof. What we need to prove? 60 degree. So, let's start. In triangle ABC. We have taken one triangle ABC and we know the sum of three angle is 180 degree. In a triangle, this we know very well from previous classes. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3, 1 degree. Angle sum property of a triangle. This we know very well. Now consider triangle, another triangle. Which triangle we have to consider now? ADC. Let's consider triangle ADC. So, angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 equals to 180 degrees. This also same reason. In this triangle, the three angles is 1 degree. And in this triangle, the sum of three angles is 180 degrees. Angle sum property. Now, give this equation 1 and give this equation 2. Now, what we have to do? We have to add them. So, let's add 1 and 2. Equation 1, equation 2, we are adding. 1 and whenever we are adding we have to add left side with left side and right side with right side always we have to do this we have to add left hand side with left hand side and right hand side with right hand side so see children angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 equals to 180 plus 180 now after this just arrange see children See our figure, see our diagram. A is 1 and 6. So we will arrange 1 and 6 together. We will arrange 1 and 6 together. 1 and 6 together. See this figure again. 1 and 6 together. Then angle B is, what is angle B? 2. So 2 alone. Then 3 and 4 together. So 3 and 4 together we will arrange in one bracket. Then what left? 5 in alone. 180 plus 180 is 360. Now see 1 and 6. What is 1 and 6? A. So we will write 1 and 6 as angle A. 2. What is 2? Children see 2. B. What is 3 and 4? See children 3 and 4. What is 3 and 4? C. So write C. And what is angle 5 children? See angle 5 again. Angle 5 is D. So write it as D equals to 360 degrees. So children we have proved that the sum of 4 angles of a quadrilateral is 60 degrees. Therefore sum of 4 angles of a quadrilateral is 360. So, we will start exercise from our next class. So, please read all definition. Try to do it yourself and learn all definitions also. Thank you so much for watching this video.